This is the Stour Compendium Hybrid watch. And we're gonna show you today how to set the digital display on this. So to set the digital display, and, and we're gonna be setting this for one o'clock p.m., what you do is you press the G button three times. Once you've done that, you'll see that the very center circle, which is the seconds, is blinking on and off. We're gonna press the B button one time. And now that's gonna take us to the right circle blinking on and off, which is our minutes. And we're gonna change this. We're gonna be setting to one o'clock, so we need to change this to zero, zero. So to make the change, you're gonna press the A button until you get to zero, zero. Oh, well, we set it to one minute, so that's fine. We'll just change it to zero, one. Now, once you have your minute set, you're gonna press the, the B button again, and that's gonna take you over to your hour. And so the, the left circle is blinking on and off. The very center circle in the middle is gonna have A, P, or H. Right now, this is listed as P. Um, H is military time. AM, AM, obviously A is for AM and P is for PM. So we're gonna change this to 1 PM. So to make the change, you press the A button and and you're just gonna hold that in and it'll go through. Now you can see this is military time. We're gonna go past military time. It'll go all the way up to 23. And now we're in AM. And now we're gonna go forward to 1P. So now you see it's 1P. So now we have our hour set. Now we're gonna press the B button again. And what that's going to do is now it's taking us to our calendar day of the month. And today is the 4th, so we really don't need to make any changes. But if we did, we, we just simply press the A button until we get to our calendar day of the month. Now, with that being correct, we'll go ahead and we'll press the B button again, and that'll take us over to our month. And we can see that's set for March, which is correct. But again, if we needed to make any changes, we would always just press the A button until we get to our correct month. With that being correct, now we're gonna press the B button again. Now that's gonna flip us up to this half moon section where it shows the day of the week. And right now this is set for WE for Wednesday, and today is Tuesday. So to make the change will be the A button, and we'll go through each day of the week until we find Tuesday, which would be TU. So we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Once we have that set, then we, we have the watch set. We're just gonna go back to our home position by pressing the G button one time. And now it's showing, it's showing our hour of one. It's showing our minutes of three and our seconds counting upward. And up in this half moon section, it shows Tuesday. So that sets your time on the watch. Now if we want to set the, this watch also has an alarm and you can see right here it says ALM, it's very small and right now there is a box around that ALM. That is the flag showing that the alarm is on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the alarm for the time that we want it to go off. And to be able to do that, you simply press the G button two times. And now in the very center circle, you're gonna see an A or a P, which is the showing A, and you're gonna show the hour blinking. So we wanna set this like 6.30 a.m. is what we want it for. So we got the one blinking, which is our hour. We're gonna press the A button until we get to six. And again, if you wanted a PM, you would just change it until it had a P in there. So now we have six, and we want it at 6.30. So right now we're on the six. We press the B button again, and now that's gonna flip us over to the right circle blinking on and off, which is our minutes. And we wanna change that to 30, because we want it for 6.30. So the A button, until you get to 30,
and now we have it set for 630. Now to get out of this mode, you just simply press the G button one time and we are out of this mode. Now, like I said, you see here where it says ALM and has the box that's on. That means that your alarm is going to go off at 6.30 a.m. Now to turn the alarm off and on, you simply hold the B button and you hit the A button. You'll hear, you'll see now that this ALM up here, it is not outlined in a box. That means that your alarm is turned off. And again, if you want to turn it on, you just simply press the B button, tap the A button, and you'll see that the box is now around the ALM. This watch also has a chime feature, and to see if your chime is on, you simply press the B button and hold it in. If all the weeks are lit up in that half moon section, that means your chime is on. Now to turn your chime off, you simply hold the B button, tap the G button, and now all the days of the week are gone. So if you hold it in, there is no days of the week there. That means your chime is off. This watch also has a chronograph feature, and to get into the chronograph mode, you simply press the G button one time, and you'll see all the circles down here are at zero. Um, to start the chronograph, you simply press the A button. It starts the chronograph going. To stop it, simply press the A button again. It stops it. And then to zero it out back to zero when you're done, you simply press the B button. And then you're back to all zeros. To get out of this feature, you just press the G button one time and you're back to your regular mode for time. And that is how you set the Compendium Hybrid Watch. Now once you've set your digital display, to set the hands, simply the, you've pulled the, t the tab off of the stem and then you just turn the hands to the time that you need. So we'll set this, uh, it's right now it's saying it's 109. You can set it for any time. If you have somebody that lives in a different time zone, you can have both the analog one time and the digital display a different time, whatever you prefer. Uh, we're first, uh, for the video's sake here, we're just gonna set it for the same time. So it is 109, so we're gonna set this to 109. Once it's set, you simply press on the stem and the second hand will start operating for you. Now keep in mind if you've had this watch for a year and you're noticing that the analog is starting to lose uh, a couple of minutes a day, it is probably time to change the battery. This particular watch and most of our hybrid watches will have two batteries. So it's a snap off back. Um, when you pull the back off or, or you take it to someone, please let them know that there's two batteries. When they pull off the back, you'll see a big battery, and then when they pull that battery out, there's gonna be a smaller battery underneath that. The smaller battery um, operates the analog, and the bigger battery operates the digital. But as long as you have the back off, we do recommend that you change both batteries when you're changing it. 